there! Welcome to my curls. My name is Renee, and if you are new to my channel, welcome! Y'all, I have been getting the same question over and over lately, and the question is, why did I stop coloring my hair? What were the reasons that really made me stop coloring my hair? And I guess I've never really sat down and just written them all down, and in answering everybody's questions and comments, I decided to compile all of those reasons into this video and give you the list. It's a pretty good list of reasons why I stopped coloring my hair, and I think some of the reasons you are gonna find interesting. Let me get into my list and let me explain why I stopped coloring my hair. Let me, let me start this list by telling you that I am 48. I stopped coloring my hair a year and a half ago. I'm getting ready to turn 49. So there's that. And obviously the first reason on the list why I stopped coloring my hair, and I've said it so many times in so many videos, is I absolutely hated the actual process, what I had to go through to color my hair. It made me miserable. I hated it. I'm not gonna go into all the details. You can watch any of my other videos about it. I just hated the the commitment, the sitting in the chair, the color on my hair. It made my head itch. It dyed my skin. I just I hated everything about the physical act of coloring my hair. And so that is the first thing that comes to mind. That is my number one reason of why I stopped coloring my hair. But then when you really get into it, there are so many more reasons and here they are. I think, honestly, I was just ready to embrace my age. I'm getting older. We're all getting older. And not that I was trying to be younger because I wasn't. I just felt like, okay, I'm ready to embrace the fact that I'm going to be 50 soon. I am getting older. I'm just ready to accept my age. And there have been some really fantastic things about getting older. I was always told uh, that when you get older, it's it's bad, everything is bad, and y'all, that is so not true. I think getting older has been wonderful, and I just felt like I was ready to embrace the aging process and the fact that I was getting older, and getting rid of the dye and having gray hair was just part of that for me. Another reason I stopped coloring my hair, and again, this is a reason that I have talked about in so many videos, when I had colored hair and I was coloring my hair a dark brown with like a reddish tint in it, when I looked in the mirror, I did not feel like myself. Something was off. I could not put my finger on it. For the last probably five years that I colored my hair, I did not look right to myself and I didn't feel right, but I didn't know why. Now that I have stopped coloring my hair, I know why. It was because my hair color did not match my complexion. My complexion was changing because I am aging and my hair color did not match my complexion. And it's hard to realize that when you are coloring your hair. I just knew internally and when I looked at myself in the mirror, things weren't jiving. Something wasn't matching up and I just didn't know what it was. And it wasn't until I was about a year into my gray hair transition that I finally realized my hair didn't match my complexion. And I am so glad that I stopped coloring my hair just for that reason alone. I think that I look so much better with my gray hair and my complexion compared to when I was coloring my hair. I just didn't look right. And now that I've stopped coloring my hair, everything is in sync and I think I look so much better. Another reason I stopped coloring my hair, I'm a busy lady. I have a lot going on. I have two daughters, I run three businesses, and I am always working at the ice cream shop. Y'all know I'm a busy body, I never sit still, and there's just a lot going on in my life, and the commitment to color my hair every three weeks I mean, I had to be dedicated to getting to my stylist, to getting to Betsy every three weeks on schedule or my roots were going to show. And I just needed, I just needed to be free of that commitment. It was, and I know this is silly, two hours every three weeks, 
but it was just something that was huge to me. I needed to free myself of that commitment. Another reason was simple curiosity. My father was completely white-headed by the time he was 40. My grandfather was completely white-headed by the time he was 40. And my mother's two older sisters are completely white-headed. Now, my mother still dyes her hair. To this day, she dyes her hair black. So there was just a little bit of curiosity because, you know, when you're coloring your hair, and you're due to have it colored, you can see a little bit of the gray coming through. And I was just curious as to what my hair really looked like. Was I gonna be completely white? Was I gonna have a little bit of gray? Would I still have any of my natural black hair? You can see right in here, this is my natural hair color. I have naturally very dark black hair. And I was just curious, what did my actual hair still look like? Because I hadn't seen it in so long, y'all. I colored my hair for more than 20 years, a brownie reddish color, and I just wanted to know what my natural hair really looked like. I knew that if I stopped coloring my hair, it was going to be kind of a big deal. My daughters accepted it very quickly. My husband accepted it very quickly. But everybody else around me just acted like it was this huge, huge, monstrous decision that I had made. I didn't know other girls when I was little who had curly hair, and so I was always sort of in a unique position. I had to accept being unique, and so when I stopped coloring my hair, I knew that I was gonna be making a statement to those around me, and I'm not afraid to make that statement. I was not afraid to be unique, and be myself. I was just kind of at a point in my life when I was ready to just kind of mix things up, do something a little different, make a statement, continue being unique. And so the gray hair um, just naturally played into that. And that was kind of one of the reasons why I stopped coloring my hair. One of the main reasons that I really, really thought about when I made the decision, I did not, this is kind of hard to explain. I did not want to find myself having gray hair as part of getting old. Not aging and getting older, but as part of being old. I wanted to go gray on my terms. I kind of I wanted to be in control of the process and be in control of going gray and I I felt that if I did it while I was young, or younger, depending on who's watching this, I felt that it put me in control of the process. It put me in control of what I looked like, and it allowed me to kind of take over the, the one thing that so many people associate with women getting old. It allowed me to be in charge of that. So I just... I just feel like, I felt like if I went ahead and went gray, it, it took the shocker out of being old. And it let me be in control of that entire process. And I like to be in control. I didn't want to wait until I was old and then all of a sudden go, oh, well, okay, well, I just, I, I, here I am. I'm old and I have gray hair. I just needed to be in control of that portion of the aging process. And by getting rid of the colored hair, that to me, allowed me to do that. And I was just ready to be myself. I was so worn out from pretending to be something that I wasn't with having a hair color that didn't belong to me, having to upkeep something that I thought I needed to have in order for other women to look at me a certain way or I don't know what I'm trying to say all of those things I just I just needed to be me and I was not being me when I had colored hair I felt very unauthentic it was not me and I was ready to be myself and letting go of the dye and just letting my natural hair color show is so freeing it just lets me be me and in the being me i can honestly say i feel so much better about myself 
I'm so much more confident. And I know there are people out there that think I look horrible with gray hair, and they are super quick to tell me. You would not believe the comments that people leave on my YouTube channel about how bad I look with gray hair and that I should color my hair again. Y'all, I don't care what those people say. I like my gray hair. I like me. I need to be me, and I do not need to try to be something that I am not to please somebody else. That is where I am in my life. I'm almost at the age of 50, and it is a great place to be. Pollux, he tired. He's been running around outside, and it is a great place to be. And I don't know if you all can see my shirt. Gray hair, and I don't care. This is one of my favorite tees because, honestly, I have gray hair, and I don't care what you think is really what the end of this should say. I don't care. I don't care what anybody else thinks of my hair or what anybody else thinks of me. This is my life, and I'm going to live it the way that I want to, and I choose to live it happy and comfortable and not committed to something that I hated, and I choose to live it being my true self, and if that true self has gray hair or white hair or whatever anybody wants to call it, that is the way I'm going to live it. It is my life. And my husband is starting to get some gray hair. He won't admit it. He does not want to. He, he will pretend that those are not there. But right in here, he is turning gray. He is 51 and he is getting a little bit of gray hair. And so I thought, why not? Why not just join him on the aging process? Y'all, we have been married for 20 years. That is a long time. And we are going to age and just grow old together. And it just did not make sense in my mind for him to start getting gray hair and for me to have this and it's funny because i had one of my my viewers call it iced tea hair i was coloring my hair the color of iced tea and when i read her comment where she said iced tea hair i died laughing that is so true and that is the perfect description i was coloring my hair the color of iced tea and I never really looked at it like that before. But it just seems so ridiculous for me to continue to color my hair and have hair the color of iced tea standing next to my husband who was going gray. It made us not match. We, we did not. It wasn't right. And so that is another reason that I just decided to stop coloring my hair. So y'all, that's a lot of reasons, and I never actually sat down and wrote them all out and gave serious thought to all of the reasons because in my mind, the most obvious one was I hated the process of coloring my hair. Simple as that, and so I stopped doing it. There were all of these things just kind of floating around in my mind that helped me make the decision to stop coloring my hair, and what it really comes down to is I was just ready to be me, and it's as simple as that. So I stopped doing it. And I've said before, and I'll say it again, it has been one of the best decisions I have ever made. I am so glad that I went gray. I am so glad that I stopped coloring my hair. And y'all, I got gray hair. And I don't care. Thank you all for watching my video. I'm so glad you were here. If you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. I am, when it comes to gray hair, an open book. I will tell you everything I know. I will answer your questions. I will give you my opinion. And I love to talk about it because it has been such a wonderful thing for me. The aging process, the going gray process, the discovering myself process, the just all of the confidence that I have gained and how much better I feel about myself. Everything about this has been so fantastic for me and I love to share it with you. And I would love it if you had gray hair and didn't care. That is the journey that I am here to help you find for yourself. I would love to help you realize that you can have gray hair and not care. So until next time, y'all, I'll see you later.